Good afternoon, everybody. This is Joe from Julian Joe's Estate Sales in Sun City. I'm going to present uh, this week's sale to everybody out there. This sale begins on Halloween, October 31st at 7.30 in the morning and goes for three days, at least at this point. And uh, it is located just east of 103rd Avenue and Peoria in Sun City. Uh, just follow the red signs here, just uh, at the intersection of 103rd and Peoria. Just east to there. Okay, I'm sorry the primary room isn't completely set up here, but this sale is really about uh, Art Nouveau and Art Deco and crafts and jewelry. We've got a lot of beautiful lamps. We have some very interesting pieces. And uh, this area is not set up yet, but I'll just give you a quick look. It's got some dragons. And uh, lots and lots of costume jewelry. Sterling and turquoise will be kept off-site until the beginning of the sale, but there are literally thousands of pieces of jewelry that will be here on Thursday. So don't miss that. A lot of craft items, art books collecting books on just about every kind of collectible you could possibly think of. A lot of mirrors, a lot of art, a lot of clocks. This is the sale of a deceased antique collector and store owner. So if you need any art books or collecting books and bookends, we have lots of signed bookends, mostly from the early 1900s late 1800s some very very interesting bookends in here and uh, we do have some good pottery we have some McCoy and a few other pieces some very good pottery we'll get to that the full list of items will be available at estatesales.net because we're not going to be able to get everything into here some really nice period furniture this is a beautiful uh, entry hall stand for your umbrellas. It's just a great piece. Nice desk, really nice desk. Here again, lots of books, some old books as well. Another nice piece of furniture. We've got a lot of letter openers and a lot of candle snifters here. So I don't know why. Angels, lots of angels. Some better art. Now bring you into what I call the Art Nouveau Art Deco room. There's a lot of interesting things in here. We have a lot of great lamps and another nice desk. Really nice, nice lamps. Interesting, interesting angels. Some ornate purses. A lot of interesting bookends here. Many have foundry marks. Highly collectible, mostly bronze and cast iron. Some of these items, a lot of gilt, a lot of French clocks. Some of them are quite rare. Actually, one of the few clocks that kind of remain collectible. And we have some clear bookends, very nice glass, as well as some very ornate ones that uh, actually book out with some pretty high values. Lots of smalls. Not unusual things. A lot of things to pick through and just look. Just enjoy. That's a good clock right there. Good lamps. Beauties there. Coal iron. Don't see many of those. Lots of peacock feathers. Kind of go with the collection. A lot of good ladies' purses. I mean, really never been used. Some good brands in here. Other side of the bookends. Oh, I forgot to introduce the queen of the sale to you all. This is uh, bronze by DeLuca. 1920. She's Italian. She's a flapper girl. Sitting on an iron bar stool with a glass 
pain is correct, condition is outstanding. And uh, she's kind of the centerpiece of the sale here. She's not inexpensive. Some very nice items in here. More smalls. It's the last time you saw one of these. <laughs> More smalls. This is a great lamp too. She's pretty in, in the shadow. Nice gilded stuff. Another French clock. Roseville. A couple pieces of Weller in here too. I may have passed by. As I said, there is some good pottery. Now off to the craft room. This is quite an interesting project, just getting this place set up. There are lots of craft items in here for almost any type of hobby. A lot of yarn, beads, jewelry making stuff, uh, containers and satchels, uh, books, all kinds of things. Paper, paper supplies, rubber stamps, hundreds of rubber stamps, some metal stamps, cutout stamps, nice Victorian hand-painted dresser here with a desk and a matching little bed set here. Really quite authentic, very nice piece. A few other things. It's the craft room. It's good deals to be had in here. Storage containers. Cards. Paintings. Pretty full bathroom. It's got some interesting stuff in it as well. Bathroom stuff. Now let's head this way. Kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. Now this, isn't this a fantastic piece? Too bad nobody's buying these big pieces of furniture anywhere. I love that thing. It's a lot of small kitchen appliances. A lot of vintage and antique kitchenware. A lot of flatware of various makers. Some nice glass. Pyrex. Crystal. Another nice lamp. Nice table here. This is a beautiful chair. That's just a great chair. And all kinds of copper. Copperware, old and new. Some really good old pieces in here various places and this is yeah and this cabinet here when you come in you'll want to take a look in this cabinet it's full of calligraphy supplies and art supplies for those calligraphy buffs out there there's a lot of oil paintings markers calligraphy pens which I have some of that stuff up front too Full case here of interesting bottles. There's a nice chest unto itself. Nice rack. Some interesting decorative items on that. It's a great lampshade. <laughs> All right. Call this the dark room. Big cases of books. Nice bookcase there. People looking for one of those. This, uh, piece here will be retained by the the estate wants to keep this piece so that won't be for sale but everything else is anybody wants an old singer sewing machine it's a pretty one too a couple typewriters some nice chairs a lot of books here again mostly collectible collections identification art bookends doorknobs you name, you name it she was interested in it Great cast iron bar stool. A lot like the one that our uh, statue is sitting on. Late 18th century lectern. Comes up high to hold your Bible or your dictionary. Things are fairly rare. Very interesting piece. Heat lamp. Under here is a, it's an amoeba shaped glass table definitely probably 30s or 40s 
it's got a giant piece of walnut burl under it. It's a beautiful piece of wood with this thick amoeba glass top. Very rare item. It's a cool piece. I like it myself. They're quite expensive. I encourage everybody to look this stuff up after this preview and get an idea what some of the values may be. And we can always argue about price, right? That's a nice old singer there. I like that green one. Another bank of crafting supplies. Buttons. Lots of buttons. Jewelry making supplies. Lots of it. Just goes on and on and on. All kinds of crafting items. You name it, it's here. Hey, there's a nice little wood stove in the corner too. Ready to be removed. Who wants that? Some neat old uh, record albums. A lot of vinyl records in this sale. I mean, there's, you'll see, there's a lot in here and there's more in some other rooms as well. Good books. Nice old desk. Nice lamps. Another nice desk over there. Cool old typewriter or royal. A lot of this kind of stuff. Art supplies. Rubber stamps. Rubber stamps. More rubber stamps. Boxes and boxes of them. About any subject you could possibly want to uh, divulge into. Let's go back here briefly. I don't know if there's any light in this room. It's a linen room. Washer and dryer is for sale. A lot of blankets, towels, linens, comforters. All that kind of stuff. Racks that are for sale. So, come in and see that. The kitchen, the uh, refrigerator is also for sale here, this guy. go out here all right we're about ready for the uh, garage and the off room of the garage this is the garage guys it's stuffed absolutely stuffed with more and more of the same a lot of ladies clothes high-end ladies clothes 1x 2x sizes really beautiful clothes and lots of shoes some very expensive shoes I might add more bags Makalux, chemicals, nice Noritake set, really nice Noritake set, <clears throat> it is pristine, a lot of v DVDs and CDs in this sale, big collection of them, DVDs, CDs, there's some VHS tapes as well. Huge collections of pens and pencils. Hello. There's also a lot of uh, books, things of that nature. Oh. And uh, so it gives you the idea what the what the uh, garage looks like. <laughs> All right, now this is what I call the lamp room but there's a lot of other things in here than the lamps a lot of decorative items there's a lot of vintage kitchen tools in here that I'm particularly fond of here are more record albums a whole bunch more there's more in the other room as well vintage kitchen a lot of these little lights these are quite collectible Really nice stuff in here. Pyrex plates, more crafting items. Got a lot of uh, old bottles and insulators. Uh, for those people that still like those things. Got a lot of that stuff. These nice uh, pair of French lamps. Quite nice. Oh, there's a lot of ink wells in this sale as well. Ink wells. So, you may see some as I go by, but... Trust me, there's a lot of ink wells in this sale. Well, I better end this tape, folks, because it's getting to be too long. But I promised Julie that uh, that I'd get a, try to get it all in, and I haven't. I've failed. 
But uh, here again, come in Thursday at October 31st at 7.30. Look for our red signs. Julie and Joe's Estate Sales, 103rd Avenue in Peoria. Just up the street from there. Can't miss it. There'll be a lot of people. Please arrive early. And please don't block anybody's driveway. It's cash-only sale. Thank you very much for watching Julie and Joe's Estate Sale video.